welcome to the best week of our lives, brought to you by Hijacked. I'm your host, Megan Hughes. There was plenty of spirit on day three of the Australian University Games, thanks to the cheer competition. More than 400 participants took to the stage at Jupiter's Theatre last night and today. This is the first year that cheer has been held as a national competition, and it was no surprise that the teams from the southern states dominated. As we start to head into semi-finals, the Open Baseball competition title is still up for grabs by any of the 13 universities participating. Hijack journalist Darcy Muntz reports. The sun was beating down on the baseballers at Sir Bruce Small Park today. Returning champions from the University of Sydney hope to continue their past success. Darcy also caught up with Griffith University lawn bowler Jake Felberg. This is my second uni games. I've competed in it two years ago. But I probably my biggest event apart from that would be probably the state multi disability championships, which I competed in about five years ago. Yeah. And how do AUGs compare to those types of events? Uh, it's a lot more social being here, and when you do come across a good player, it's good competition. Yeah. To go professional at any stage in the future. There's not really enough money in lawn bowls to make a professional career out of it, but I do hope to represent Australia. I have been reserved for World Championships in 2013 for Vision Impaired and I have been a part of the 2014 Commonwealth Games squad but haven't actually made the representative debut yet. The much anticipated Uni Games mascot race returned to the athletics track today and as always it was very entertaining. Volleyball and basketball will be live streamed tomorrow. Tune into Unigame's YouTube channel to watch. Thank you for watching the best week of our lives. Oh.